Om Om Shanti May you be a lucky star. May you be a lucky star by invoking your perfect form by invoking your perfect form and become free and become free from the cycle of coming and going and become free from the cycle of coming and going. Now, invoke your perfect stage and your perfect form and that form will constantly be in your awareness. Now invoke your perfect stage and your perfect form and that form will constantly be in your awareness. You will then become free from the cycle of sometimes having a high stage and sometimes a low stage. The cycle of coming and going which spins when you repeatedly come into the cycle of sometimes remembering and sometimes forgetting. You will then become free from the cycle of sometimes having a high stage and sometimes a low stage which spins when you repeatedly come into the cycle of sometimes remembering and sometimes forgetting. People want to become free from the cycle of birth and death. People want to become free from the cycle of birth and death whereas you, whereas you become free from wasteful matters and whereas you become free from wasteful matters and become a sparkling lucky star become a sparkling lucky star so people say that that we want to become free from the cycle of birth and death and Baba says that you have to become free from wasteful matters Slogan is to be influenced by any obstacle. To be influenced. To be influenced by any obstacle means means that there is a flaw in the diamond. Means that there is a flaw in the diamond. So what Baba is saying is that sometimes having a high stage, a low stage, the cycle of wasteful thoughts and to become free from that we have to invoke our perfect stage and form. So what is a perfect stage? So for that the first practice that is there for that is that the awareness of our origin or of our eternal form the awareness of ourselves as a soul my eternal form my soul conscious form what is that form yes I am a point of light I'm a form of light but at the same time purity love peace, power, happiness, bliss. 
So in this perfect form, in this purity, meaning totally pure, 100 percent. So that is, that is our, the perfect stage or form would emerge. And the second is our deity form, our original form. In our original form, we are completely viceless, yes, but at the same time, we are full of all virtues. Following the highest codes of conduct. Mind, body, wealth, and relationships. In all four aspects, being perfect in all these four aspects. Mind, the mind is perfect or full of powerful thoughts. No waste also and no ordinary thoughts as well. So ordinary means like if I have to do any action, so I need attention of the intellect, but there shouldn't be that many thoughts as well. Yesterday, Dari Gulzar said, when you sit for Amrit Vela, so at that time also, if you are having thoughts for service, so if you need churning, then do it, because if you need it to concentrate your mind, so it's okay. You need that power of churning. It is important to do churning, but it isn't like that you just sit with that topic. That today in the evening, I have to say, the, so in the morning I will do churning because totally plain intellect, the mind peaceful, so that is also very important or necessary because in silence a lot is filled within the soul. So one's mind should always be powerful. Because of any reason, even if we have a little bit of weak thoughts, so meaning my faith in Baba, in drama, as soon as we bring that, so the, the thoughts again become powerful. Today, whatever are we able to do, that is because Baba is making us do that. If we have this faith, so then who will make me do it in the future, Baba? So, some or the other experience from life, bring that and then make the thoughts of our mind powerful. And through the body as well. How much ever karma yoga we can do. And always think that Baba has given this body for service only. So definitely Baba will keep on using it for service. Nobody wants to sit with their body. Everybody wants that the body should work and it should be used for service. So if we have these kind of feelings within ourselves, so Baba will use this body for service and also um, wealth. Wealth is important for uh, living. So whatever is necessary uh, and uh, we have to live our lives. We have, while doing that, what is necessary for living. So it's not like all our wealth is gone only in living um, our life because there are there there is a lot of expansion the, about what customs are there for the for the world or in the world. So everything goes in attachment and greed. Someone is taking because of greed. Someone is giving because of attachment. 
we don't have to give an attachment we don't have to give anyone because of attachment and we don't have to take it from someone because of greed so we should have a very pure attitude towards each other in our relationships and very uh, we should have a nature of friendship humility so it's like every soul they should have the feelings of love within them so like this we bring those thoughts of eternal and original form we have to invoke our perfect form it is a very beautiful blessing and all of you try to experience it that whenever even little bit yeah without anything baba even if you see baba makes us do the drill of five forms also so if we keep on doing it throughout the day so it's like there is like a perfect form so it will be a practice to emerge that baba said that will that perfect form I will remember because if I do it so many times we do it and then we forget to do it and then again we remind ourselves then again we forget it but everyone should keep this aim because the time is such right now perfect form and then it is our angelic form as well and when we become an angel so baba makes us do a lot of service baba would take us somewhere and then he would make us reach some place so it would be an unlimited service in an angelic form and so that is why in baba's blessing whether you say we have to keep a name because if it's a little bit of um effort if you say so what is the aim that we will keep that in walking our perfect form so that the cycle of coming and going that the stage that comes into the cycle that wouldn't come the stage would remain so we have baba has given this blessing and we have to take it okay om shanti